Okay, I'm going to be using the VX64 vocal strip. Uh, you should have this if you have enabled your excluded plugins within the Cakewalk Plugin Manager. This is a wonderful, wonderful tool for working on vocals. As of right now, I've got the Compander section, which is a compression expander combined, and I've got just a tad bit of compression on the lead vocal to sort of even out some of the rough points to bring her vocals up in areas where she is very dynamic. And yet again, I'm not overkilling this. Also, I'm going to be implementing the de -er, and although her sibilants aren't over the top bad, I still want to take care of some of those higher end S's to knock out some of the shrill sounds and anything that might be taxing to the ear of the listener. The great thing about this particular plugin is I have the ability to use this listen feature. So I'm going to solo the vocal, click it over into listen, and that will allow me to only hear what the de -er is taking away. You've got to say Okay, so now I've adjusted it to a point where it seems like it's only hitting those sibilants. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it back in and adjust the depth. You've got a sacred heart, but you don't know how to use it. Always letting strangers take it and abuse it. And you're so used to getting hurt now, it doesn't phase you. But you get kicked to the dirt, and doesn't it amaze you? The things people do to feel loved Without someone they don't feel good enough Don't go searching, you're supposed to be found I'm actually going to move the de -er later in the routing chain to actually take care of the sibilance after I've enabled the equalizer. You've got a sacred heart, but you don't know how to use it. Always letting strangers take it and abuse it. And you're so used to getting hurt now, it doesn't phase you. Okay, now I'm going to implement some saturation here from this plugin. You've got a sacred heart, but you don't know how to use it. Always letting strangers take it and abuse it. And you're so used to getting hurt now, it doesn't phase you. But you get kicked to the dirt, and doesn't it amaze you? Okay, um, using these uh, reverb sends yet again to sort of accentuate this vocal and to get it to inhabit a space of its own. 
One thing that you'll notice is I actually have two different reverb long hauls, one panned left and one panned right. Yet again, this is a mono signal, so I can do this without causing any crazy phase issues to happen. And by doing this, uh, immediately you could hear where it just kind of inhabited the space a little bit better. Also, by bringing up the short room, I was able to sort of get it to set in the mix, but be more forward and just sort of nestled within the instruments a little better. I'm going to go ahead and massage this vocal a little bit more as this is uh, the main instrument within the mix. I want it to set perfectly where it needs to be. You've got a sacred heart, but you don't know how to use it. Always let in strangers take it and abuse it. And you're so used to getting hurt now, it doesn't phase you. But you get kicked to the dirt, and doesn't it amaze you? The things people do to feel it. Now I'm going to start implementing the delay on the vocal. I want this to be something that just sort of gets nestled underneath the vocal, but doesn't quite take over the vocal. Just at the end of phrases, it can be something just to sort of add this extra uh, depth and width that just kind of carries over into the next verse. But immediately, whenever the next verse takes over, it doesn't crowd it. So I think the way that I'm going to actually do this is do a side chain to a delay. 
Now, the easiest way to do this is just to simply create an aux track. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is insert the send to the delay that we have. Then I'm going to insert an instance of the cakewalk compressor. Turn the limiter feature off. And now insert a sidechain compressor to aux1, which I'm going to rename this delay duck. Okay. You've got a sacred heart, but you don't know how to use it. Always let in strangers take it and abuse it. And you're so used to getting hurt now, it doesn't phase you. But you get kicked to the dirt, and doesn't it amaze you? The things people do to feel loved. With that. Okay, so as you can see, when the vocalist is singing uh, full bore, you'll notice that the delay is completely tucked behind the vocal now. However, when she stops, the release feature of this allows that to come up just underneath that and nestle the vocal. Now, this is going to be kind of a, a play back and forth to try to get this to actually sound like I'm hearing it in my head, but it's definitely a good starting point. You've got a sacred heart, but you don't know how to use it. Always let in strangers take it and abuse it. And you're so used to getting hurt now, it doesn't phase you. But you get kicked to the dirt, and doesn't it amaze you? The things people do to feel loved. Without someone, they don't feel good enough. And don't go searching. You're supposed to be found by the red one. But you just want someone now to pick up the pieces of your heart on the ground. But you'll forget all of them when you're found. Awesome. So I think that sounds pretty good. It's not going to be overpowering, but it's going to be just enough to add some thickening to the vocal and just give it a little bit more uh, character. Let's go ahead and hear it now in context with the mix. You've got a sacred heart, but you don't know how to use it. Always let in strangers take it and abuse it. And you're so used to getting hurt now, it doesn't phase you. But you get kicked to the dirt. Doesn't it amaze you the things people do to feel loved? Without someone, they don't feel good enough. Don't go searching, you're supposed to be found by the red one. But you just want someone new to pick up the pieces of your heart. But you'll forget all of them when you found You have to love yourself before anyone else can And wait for the moment when you least expect it To get swept off of your feet and feel something magical But you're so used to tragedy your heart is entangled the when you found. okay so it's definitely very subtle but i like it it's added a lot of thickening to the lead vocal now one thing that i do want to do however 
is I definitely want to make sure that I EQ this just a little differently from the lead vocal, just to get it to kind of set apart a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back to my console view. I'm gonna copy this EQ over to that. And I'm gonna actually take up the high pass a little bit. I'm gonna move that down to the low mids, lower mids. And I'll move this down to sort of the honky area. And let's see if that does any better. You have to love yourself before anyone else can And wait for the moment when you least expect it To get swept off of your feet and feel something magical But you're so used to tragedy Your heart is in tangles Things people do to feel loved you're so close to giving up Don't go searching You're supposed to be found By the right one But you just want someone now To pick up the pieces of Your heart on the ground But you'll forget all of them When you're found when you're there Don't go searching Someday you'll be found And it'll make sense when Okay, it's definitely starting to come in to uh, the place where I feel like it needs to be. Now I'm going to use this uh, vocal thickener that's just kind of been sitting here not being used at all. So for the first time in this tutorial, we are gonna use one plugin, at least now, that is not part of Cakewalk by BandLab, and that is Little Alter Boy. This is a plugin by Sound Toys, and all it simply does is just create different pitches and uh, formats. Now, there are plugins that do this for free, and there are even ways to do it within Cakewalk by BandLab if you own Melodyne or if you want to take the time to actually pitch shift things. So this is just a quicker way to do it. And so that's how we're going to do this for the sake of brevity. Uh, it's just super simple. You just slap it on here. I'm going to go to Rich Fifths, which is just the stock plugin. I'm going to set the drive a little higher. And I'm going to bring it all the way to the wet. Now, this is what it sounds like on its own. When you found You have to love yourself before anyone else can And wait for the moment when you least expect it To get swept off of your feet and feel something magical But you're so used to tragedy Your heart is in tangles Things people do to feel loved you're so close to giving up Don't go searching You're supposed to be found By the red one But you just want someone now To pick up the pieces of Okay, so that sounds about like what I would want from this And I'm simply just going to blend this in As it's playing Sort of like a parallel effect, much like we did with the parallel compression. Okay, here we go. You have to love yourself before anyone else can And wait for the moment when you least expect it To get swept off of your feet and feel something magical But you're so you Tragedy. Okay, so now that this is involved, let's hear all three of these vocals together now. When you're found. And I'm actually going to implement. You have to love 
yourself before anyone else can And wait for the moment when you least expect it To get swept off of your feet and feel something magical But you're so used to tragedy Your heart is entangled Things people do to feel loved you're so close to giving up don't go searching okay so much like i've done with the lead vocals i'm going to add in some of the short room some of the medium and the long haul and this time i'm going to turn the long haul all the way up and i'm going to pan these left and right just like i did there and i'm also even going to add the saturation to this lastly i'm going to go back and blend it back in now in context with the mix and this should provide a really cohesive lead vocal for the rest of the the mix Things people do to feel loved You're so close to giving up Don't go searching You're supposed to be found by the right one But you just want someone now To pick up the pieces of your heart on the ground But you'll forget When nobody else would doubt And they'll pick up the pieces of Your heart on the ground But you'll forget all of them When you're found Okay, I'm going to try to implement the delay on this as well Just to see what it sounds like When you're found You have to love yourself before anyone else can And wait for the moment when you least expect it To get swept off of your feet and feel something magical But you're so used to tragedy Your heart is entangled Things people do to feel Okay, so I'm noticing there's a little bit of a flanger effect that's kind of happening with the lead vocal. So the way that I'm going to take care of this is to actually implement a Sonatus multiband compressor just to take care of those higher frequencies where it's actually taking place. You've got a sacred heart, but you don't know how to use it. Always let in strangers take it and abuse it. You're so used to getting hurt now It doesn't phase you But you get kicked to the dirt And doesn't it amaze you The things people do to feel loved Perfect Without someone they don't feel good enough Don't go searching You're supposed to be Just want someone to pick up the pieces 
Okay, so now that the vocal seems like it's massaged pretty well and it's going to fit within the context of the mix, I'm going to actually go ahead and bring the volume level of that down just to kind of match the rest of the instrumentation. And then we'll start actually going back and uh, just doing a little bit more massaging of the rest of the instruments to come up around the vocal now. As of right now, let's see kind of where we're peaking at when we get to our crescendo. Go to the crescendo portion. Yeah, so once we bring those lead vocals down, it should actually still have some pretty good headroom, too. Okay, I think we're definitely coming along. It's getting to a point now where um, we're just going to start, like I said, massaging these instruments, getting the, the levels to where they need to be. But before we even get to that point, we have to do what's next in the 15-step mix process, which is to fold back down to mono all of these tracks just to see if all the implementation that we have done has caused any more phase issues and if there's a way that we can address those. So let's go ahead and take a listen. Okay, so when I fold that back down to mono, I heard just a little bit of wonkiness there in the snare drum. Everything else sounds like it's still pretty cohesive. There's some areas where I think it kind of got a little washed or muddy, uh, but by and large, you know, when you fold down a mix that you've panned out to stereo to mono, it's definitely going to be a little uh, disheartening whenever you've listened to this beautiful stereo soundscape and you've folded it back down to mono. Now, the point of this was not just to sort of kick you in the pants, but a lot of this was just to kind of see like where you stand, like say for instance, if someone was to listen to this just on their phone's speaker, or if they were to listen to this maybe through a car speaker, which, you know, um, a car is a stereo source. However, you're only sitting on one side of that car. So 
a lot of times we're listening to it in more of a mono fashion than we are stereo. So this is just a good sort of a gut check to see if you're going in the right direction, if everything is actually that you've been doing is making a difference or not. So far, I really feel like we're at a, a good point. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fold this back out to stereo. Now we're gonna start importing some reference tracks to help us get a grip on the rest of the song and to sort of hear some professional mixes and masters from other individuals to see if there's any areas that are lacking or some things that we could fix within our own mix.